Australia's coveted status of being almost pandemic free has now been taken away as the contagious Delta variant outbreak forces the nation's major states to go under lockdown. The country's most populous states, New South Wales, Victoria and Queensland reported 282 COVID-19 locally acquired infections on Sunday, inadequate supply of the Pfizer vaccine doses and public unease about the AstraZeneca jabs has resulted in vaccination of only one-fifth of the adult population. Barely 20% of the total Australians remain vaccinated. There are 362 people in hospital in New South Wales with 58 in intensive care. Of the people in intensive care, 54 were unvaccinated. New South Wales State Premier urged the people to get the jabs as soon as possible. Uh, the more people we get vaccinated, the sooner we'll be able to live more freely. And I really want to stress that point. Uh, life for us on August 29 will be a reflection of how many people have at least one dose of the vaccine and uh, where the case numbers are. And those two things are the things we'll look at uh, to see how we can live beyond August uh, the 29th. Neighbouring Victoria went under seven-day strict lockdown measures after it reported 11 new COVID-19 cases. I can't tell you how disappointed I am to have to be here doing this again. But with so few in the community with one vaccination, let alone two, I literally have no choice but to accept advice and we to collectively to make this important decision to keep Victorians safe. Meanwhile, Sydney, Australia's largest city, rolled out free AstraZeneca vaccines to encourage vaccinations. Limited supply as well as vaccine hesitancy have been slowing down the efforts to inoculate Australians, with just over 20% of the population now fully vaccinated. Health officials are now expecting supplies will be boosted in September, with the Moderna vaccine arriving for the first time and the Pfizer imports set to increase. Australia has reported over 36,000 COVID-19 cases and 937 deaths in a population of 25 million. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.